Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can I build test suit using Selenium IDE? Let me answer. Yes, it is possible to create test suit in Selenium IDE. Let me practically demonstrate that for you. Okay, for that I'll open this browser and uh, I will take you to one sample application, omai.blogspot.com and then I'll click on this Selenium. Okay, and uh, click on uh, create a new project. I'll record some tests. Okay, one or two or three tests I'll create. Uh, in this project, I'll click on record. I'll give the application URL. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. On this particular application, I'm going to record three tests. Okay, for sample. Start the recording. Recording started already. Maximize. Here, I'm going to type in the first test. I'm going to type uh, my name and uh, stop the recording. This first test is completed. Test one. Now I'll create one more test. Click on this plus icon here. On this Selenium ID, there is a plus icon under the currently test is selected here. Now click on plus, it will create the second test too. You can give the name as test two and say add. And uh, you can click on this uh, record button. Second test is getting recorded uh, where, you know, I'm going to select some drop down option as for the second test. Now stop the recording. Now again, click on plus and create the third test. Test three, click on add and start recording. Maximize, go here. And uh, do one thing, uh, just uh, click on this button and say, okay, okay. Third test is also completed. Stop the recording. Now three tests I created for sample. So you see, I would like to group all these three tests under or uh, two of the three tests. Okay, let's say there are three tests. I would like to group two out of three tests into one uh, suit, test suit. How to create the test suit then? These tests are not uh, grouped under any particular test suit. Okay, test suit means a group of tests, right? A suit of tests otherwise. So here there is an option here. If you if you see a drop down kind of option here, click on that, you'll get this option. Just change this view to test suits view. Okay. Now click on plus. This time tests will not be created. Earlier, when test was there, and I click on the plus, it uh, it will allow us to create the test there. Okay. Not to create the test, we have to select uh, select this as test and click on plus. Test will be created. But if you want to create the test suits, then you have to change this test to test suits and click on plus. This time it is asking you to add a new test suit. Okay. I'll say uh test suit uh, one okay just giving some name add now all the tests that i created are not there anywhere you see under the test suit there are zero tests okay so whatever default suit will come you don't have to worry about that you just ignore that okay uh you can delete this also if you don't want you can delete this only one test suit is there but uh test suit one there are no tests under there if you want to add a few tests out of that Click on plus and say add test. Whatever the test you automated already or created or, or, or already, you can add them. For example, I would like to add test one and test two. Or I don't want to add test three. Just select. You see under the test suit, only two tests are there now. Okay. Again, if I change to test, all the three tests will come. But uh, under this uh, test suit, under this created test suit, only two tests because I only added two test suits. What if I want to run uh, these two tests? I don't want to run all the three tests. Okay. Here. If I change to test and if I click on this run all test means all the three tests will run. Okay, you just see here and I click on that three tests will run. First test is running. You see, it will type my name. Second test is running. It will, you know, click on this login button and uh, done. Third test is running. It will select this uh, option in the drop down feed. Top three option in the drop down feed. Third test is complete. You see, all the three out of three tests got run. But what if I want to run only test one and test two, which are part of the test suit? Then change this to test suits. And uh, just select one of the tests in the test suit and say run all. This time only two tests will run, not three tests. Only two tests are going to run. First test is running. You see, done. Second test. You see, it's changing the option. Second test is also complete. Only two out, two tests got run. Okay, not three tests. Okay, again change it to test. Okay, so this this how this is the purpose of the test suit. You can create any number of test suits if you want to create one more test suit. Let's like say. Test suit two, and in this test suit, let's say I would like to add uh, all the three tests. Okay, like that. It's up to you. Okay, how many tests you want? What type of tests you want under different tests? If you want to run these three tests now under the test suit, just select one of the tests under the required test suit and click on run all. All the three tests in the particular test suit will run. Okay. And now the last one. Yeah, completed. Now close this, leave it. That's it.
So hope guys you understood how to build test suits or create test suits uh, in Selenium ID. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.